Hi everyone, welcome to Cascaval. It's a shopping center. Start the montage. <laughs> Just a shopping centre, it also has all this stuff. Cascaval actually has quite a lot of stuff, including a nightclub. Well, let's go rescue Tammy because there's a big mean bus after her. <laughs> <laughs> This behind me is the Kais, and I think this is the nightclub. It's also a restaurant and bar, but I think it's the nightclub because it's got pictures of DJs, so probably the nightclub. Probably. That's the Sugar Mill Tower, but they actually put their name on it. Cas Cascavel. Cascavel! <laughs> Great mountain views from Cascavel. That's the Sugar Mill, sugar mill chimney over there. <laughs> they also have 10 pin bowling. The entrance is all the way over there, and I don't feel like walking all the way back to there and then all the way back to there. So, <laughs> hey guys. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. So, someone who recognized us, that's pretty cool. He said I'm a good vlogger, so that must be true. <laughs> <laughs> Originally from South Africa, this is actually Illico restaurant, which is like a coffee shop. But let me show you this. English breakfast. The English breakfast. Oh, wow. And it really looks good inside. So if you're craving an English breakfast, this is the place to come get one. I'm craving one, but they only serve it till 10.30, so get you early. We've got an actual bookstore, so you can come buy books. Actual books? A really big bookstore. They actually have a beautiful piece of garden here, as you can see with, with, with the flowers and things. But the stones, they've got the beautiful stones behind it. It is really green here, it's really, really nice. Honeysuckles. This is like the perfect spot to sit. They've got some water behind, but you can just come oh, and relax. Oh, there's no armrest. <laughs> but it's, it's green. It's a green area, which is fantastic. Trees down there. They've even got places for taking selfies. This is actually the food court down there. And there are lots of shops around. This one's Gabonese Pizza, and there's a, a Steers right next door. Olive tree. I what olive tree is. Lebanese, you're welcome with their famous cram crust. Olive tree, authentic Greek cuisine. They actually have Greek, they have Greek here, right? And Subway, and a couple of the regulars that you're going to find in a food court. But that's not a regular you find in a food court. Mackie D's in a food court. Who would have believed it? There's like a platter. Okay. Greek. Yeah, oh, we haven't had Greek for ages. No, we haven't. Cool. That is a really big ceiling fan. McDonald's. Okay, now I'm conflicted because this is Lebanese food. Oh, and Lebanese food is really yum as well. I'm just outside McDonald's. It's right there. But look what I found. It's chess and these guys are actually playing. Pawn to Queen 4. Okay, here are we going? Castle to Bishop 3, I think. This is so cool. And the other day it was the uh, International Chess Day. Okay. Nice. <laughs> and the bishop. The horse. The horse is eating the mat. It should be the other way around. Horse eating mat. <laughs> bishop should be riding the horse, yes. <laughs> ah, my word. Actually, a penny puri place. I wonder if they do penny puris. Well, they do something. That looks interesting. Oh, these are the sweets. Penny puri and then other ones. And there's a sieve. and dal. Dal. Cool. I have found in Cascavel that a logical place that you'd kind of want to come and walk through, you, you can't. <laughs> it's quite weird. 
Yeah. I'm on the other side of that. <laughs> Nature's Basket. It's an organic supermarket. What on earth is an organic supermarket? It sells all organic products? Maybe, maybe. Let's have a quick squiz. Okay. Oh, it smells fresh. So, all organic stuff. So, that's what an organic supermarket looks like. It's all organic. It says so in the name. <laughs> so cool, organic. A little bit out the back, you'll find some ATMs. Weirdly located. And what kind of looks like a, a sushi vending machine, but I don't think it is. <laughs> I think it's just an advertising board. I wonder if... <laughs> I don't know where it comes out though. This is an Arabian restaurant. Oh my word, it looks so beautiful. This is exquisite. How is this place? Look at the cushions even. Oh, and me in the mirror. Oh, and the cutting around it. Everything here is just, it just feels so authentic. But I'll show you something else that's even better, even, even better. That is the biggest teapot. Oh, and that's really cool as well with the light on it at the moment. Well, not with me in the way. <laughs> can you imagine serving tea from this? It's huge. Oh, that's hot. And you can actually watch the guys cooking through there. They're actually, you can see them doing the cooking inside there. Yeah, it's just, it just feels so authentic. Look at the authentic tiles. Yeah. This place is gorgeous. This is actually still part of the Arabian restaurant. Have a look at it. It's like so real with these great chairs and things. And this is the outside area. Oh, and you can probably get one of those things. I can never remember what they're called. So they've kept the authenticity out here as well. Awesome. The water fund for kids is actually closed. But I'll show you over the fence because it actually looks quite good. It actually does look like a fun water park. For kids, not for adults obviously. But for kids, it's pretty cool. Awesome, like a little super cheap thing. Yeah. Look at these palms. I don't know if you can see it, but they're like really light in color. It almost looks fake. They're like not. It feels plastic as well. They're not green. <laughs> but they're not because they definitely got damage on. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. This walkway is actually pretty cool with the trees. And they've got all sorts of shops. Uh, I wouldn't even pretend to know how to say that. This one I can say. It says Tony Phone. <laughs> Tony. Easy and Mtel, obviously. They're really easy to find. Oh, this looks like a bit of an art gallery, but Ricky will get some video of that or photos. Okay, so there's a lovely gallery with gorgeous paintings here at Cascavel. Nice. This is where the MCB bank is. Well, the ATMs anyway. I know what DHL is, but Kodak Express? Do they like print photos? Someone actually prints photos? Or maybe they put it in. They put it on a t-shirt maybe, get a Fortnite t-shirt, but with you in it. Maybe, I don't know. It's odd. Pretty cool one though. <laughs> Meme. Meme. You can get all your kitty stuff. Oh, like a dump at... truck, because you always need a dump truck. Wow, JCB <laughs> does have a backpack. Oh, there's a lion one. Huh? Photo bomb. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think the other one was a cow. Funky fish. And this stuff is funky. It actually is. Have a look at this. It's like a unicorn slipper. <laughs> Pirate hats. This place is cool. This is 20 Vin. They have some really fancy wines in there from all over the world. Uh huh. Look who's here, Flying Dodo. They actually have some on tap, right here. And there's the tap, Flying Dodo. <laughs> cool. Cool, so there's a nice relaxed pub at Cascabel. Yeah. Look at those awesome tables and chairs. <laughs> Roxy, because it's not a mall unless it's got a, a Roxy. All your trendy girl wear. Of course they have a Quicksilver. Wow. This place is surprisingly big. There's a Woolworths behind me and a couple of other shops, but I think we're at halfway and it's got a great ceiling, but what's below is really interesting. So I'm going to extend you guys up. So you can maybe work out what it, what it is. is. So 
Any clues, guys? I have no idea. Bright and colourful at Kerskeville. So here you've got Adamas Mauritius, which is diamonds, jewellery and watches, and it's duty-free. Very large store. Cafe Lux actually roast their coffee in Mauritius. And it's ethically sourced, of course, but roasted in Mauritius, that's cool. Okay, this just in, Cafe Lux, now it does bubble tea. And over here is BS. Oh, I mean BNS. <laughs> My bad. Do you want me to take a video of you? No? <laughs> okay, that's really embarrassing. People are looking at me now. <laughs> oh, and here you have a selection of gorgeous summer dresses. 450 rupees. These are lovely. I think this is a perfume shop, but they also have makeups. So, loads of different shops. Oh, I missed Citadel over there. It is a citadel as well. Of course. Hair salon. Island Hayes. Island Hayes. Double shop Island Hayes. It's not a mall unless it has an Island Hayes. That's true. <laughs> and an artisan coffee, which is coming up. Artisan coffee. I don't know if they have bubble tea. <laughs> not yet. Here's another one of these beautiful floor things. Yeah. Shiny. Well. Oh, you got another floor thing, so up you go, all the way up to the top. Well, there you go. I think they're just like tree parts or something. I think. Oh no! Hang on! Hang on! Hang on! This is autumn. This is autumn. It's losing its leaves. The other one must have been summer with the sun. We need to go find winter and spring. I've got this figured out. Uh -huh. Oh, and there's a telecom shop where you can buy cell phones and things. And a winners. For all your other shopping needs. In the winners, they actually have Borovos here. So, 500 kg. And ribs. And ribs. They actually have ribs. This is pretty much what the winners looks like. But it's got these really nice condola ends with the interesting things. This is actually a really, really beautiful winners. I really love these new glass fronted things. And you can see everything so easy and it keeps the cold in. One Would thing you have to be careful with, with yogurt and Mauritius, is natural. And if it's got sucre, it's got sugar in it. So there we are, natural sucre and natural. So the two of them right there, you can tell the difference. Very well stocked wine section. Winners does have cold beer, unlike Super U. But they actually have the flying dodo, all of them. So you can come get all your flying dodos at Winners. Because we probably never showed you before. Wide selections of toothpaste available in Mauritius. <laughs> okay, so here's the uh, fabric softeners and fabric washing liquids. Here you also need to be a little bit careful because we have before bought a fabric softener thinking it's a washing powder because it's called like super lean, which sounds like soap, but I don't think, I don't, I'm still confused actually <laughs> if this is for washing or if it's for fabric softening. Dog foods. So you can get an idea of some pricing. Mimmel is generally the cheapest. Whiskers for the cats. Toritos. Pringles and the equivalent and a bunch of other chips. If any of you want some specific part of a supermarket so you can get an idea of what's available and what the pricing are, just let us know in the comments and we'll go find the ooh, cheese flavor. We'll go get a video of it for you in our next supermarket. Lettuce needs to be, although it comes in a piece, you actually have to still get a price tag put on it somehow. We couldn't buy our lettuce. <laughs> no, it doesn't have a barcode. <laughs> so yeah, you've got McDonald's and also over there out in the parking lot, you've got the KFC. Gorgeous sunset over Cascavel. Well, everyone, we chickened out, unfortunately. We couldn't get anything, we were too tired. So I've come to KFC, we, we're so tired, we're going for KFC. Well, with so much choice, I went for the bucket for one. Really quick as well to get our bucket for one. Super organized. Okay, so this is the KFC bucket for one. It's pretty cute. You gotta unbox it even more though. More unboxing. Well, let's take a chip out the top. Oh, they're crunchy. Good. Chips for a change. KFC's fixed their chips. Because what they have is these little chickeny things. No, they, they, they're so soft they fall apart. I still need to take a picture of this. Oh, okay. 
KFC packet for one. It's yum. This is a proper unboxing. That's the cute packet of chips with some of the sweet chili sauce. And that's the pile of chicken. This is what you get in your box for one. And look what and, else it comes and with. And mustard. That's pretty awesome. How much is it? 165 rupees. You can ask for extra salt. They'll give you a ton of it. Yeah. Their chips have become so much better. I'm really impressed. Maybe <laughs> I'm just hungry. Ricky trying some of the chicken on wide angle for some reason. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm. They're actually really nice. It's something that KFC does really well and they're peppery and but they're always nice and soft and juicy. And they've got the full KFC flavor so why bother with anything else? Chicken tenders. Mm. Mm. <laughs> KFC actually a lifesaver this time. Uh, starving, dark, you know sometimes the adventures get out of hand. Cascaval, it's an alright mall. I mean I love the green spaces and the fact that they got a McDonald's in their food court. That's pretty awesome. Flick and flack. Flick and flack. Anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. So, just near Domain Anna, there's this really cool thing, which I think is an aqueduct. Behind me is another one of these monster trees that we saw at Domain Anna. But they actually have a fruit, and I thought I might show that to you. This is what's falling out of it. I'm not quite sure what it is. I'll let Ricky have a look at it. Feels like polystyrene. I'm gonna go give Ricky some of this polystyrene. And you get beautiful views of mountains from Flick and Flack as well. How cool is that? It's like natural packing thingies. What are they called? Pe polystyrene, yeah, the, those, those peanuts. Packing peanuts, peanuts. <laughs> they're actually quite hard though, but they're really light. It's odd. That's it's just super, super odd. It's weird. Anybody? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. It comes from oh, that big that tree. tree. is gorgeous. Anyway, enough of the the big tree. Because I've got a bigger, bigger wall. This is actually an aqueduct. Look at the size of it. And I'm getting stuck with thorns. Bogan Villas again. Just as, you know, from him complaining about Bogan Villas from behind a Bogan Villa. Anyway, massive Bogan Villa thorn right through my foot. But look at this aqueduct pile the stones on and they've made it an angle so that they can and then on top is the only place that they've put the the lime to actually make the 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 aqueduct bit waterproof it runs quite a long way i'll show you the other side but this was the bigger side which i really wanted to show you i didn't actually show you how big this tree actually is it is huge from this side it is a monster just so you can get an idea of how big this tree is just to get it scale with me. That is a huge tree. Wow. Brigham Villa Aqueduct Mountain and electricity pole. So this is the aqueduct on this side. Aqueduct there. They put a modern road in here. But across there you can see more aqueduct. And look at the mountains in the background. But you can see they've modernized the aqueduct at the top there. Okay, so this this is a mill of some sort. Nobody really knows what its purpose was. My guess is windmill, but we're too late to see it. Yeah, okay, so with a bit of editing, you guys can see there's holes in it. Nobody's sure because there's no there's no sugar mill in this area, and this is not mentioned on any of the old maps. Fascinating. Ryan's gonna hate me because he hates footage from the car. But as we're watching the sunset, completely forgot to mention. There's a whole area in Flick and Flick where there's treasure from pirates. <laughs> there we are, there's Moon. It's been taunting me all the way back from Flick and Flick. <laughs> <laughs>